Okay, Josh, can you hear us okay? Yes, sir. Awesome. Hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, like I mentioned, you're on now with all of our uh, local media, uh, and you get to know these guys as we go through the year here. So um, this will be kind of our first intro, but I'm going to just start it off and go to questions. Um, so we'll start first with Adam Teicher with ESPN. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Joshua, congratulations on being drafted. Um, first question, do you feel like you – what do you? what's your feel for your readiness to play in the NFL after coming from a Division II school? And Brad will have a second question as well. Right. Uh, well, I'm 100%, you know, confident in my abilities and, um, you know, the work that I put in to be able to play at the next level. I know, you know, it's going to take time to learn the system um, and, of course, you know, adapt to just the pace of the game. But that's something I'm completely able to do. I'm confident in my abilities to do. And I'm sure I'll be able to come out and contribute some way uh, starting at the first week. Okay. And you're the uh, first uh, player from a HBCU university to be drafted in two years in the NFL. It, 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 what kind of honor is that for you? It means a lot. Uh, it definitely just speaks to, uh, you know, the, the exposure we've been getting um, and, you know, also to the hard work that I've been putting in and uh, just trying to, you know, create a name for myself. I'm glad that it all paid off and I'm glad that um, all of these things came to fruition. I'm, I'm glad to be a Kansas City Chief. Let's go next to Herbie T.O.P. with the Kansas City Star. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Joshua, welcome to Kansas City, man. And congrats on being drafted. Sorry, thank you. No problem. If you had to write a scouting report on yourself, what would it read like? What, what, would, what would you say about your skill set? I'd say I'm versatile. I'd say I'm explosive. I'm a fierce competitor. Um, you know, I could go on for days. But, um, you know, I, I just, all, all in all, I want the biggest thing to be I'm a hard worker and I'm uh, tenacious on the field, you know. Um, there's never a lack of motor or effort, and, um, you know, he, he's working hard. Let's go next to Pete Sweeney with 6'10". Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Joshua, congratulations. You know, coming from uh, the D2 to the, the NFL is obviously going to be quite a jump. What type of mentality do you anticipate you're going to have to have to take some of those lumps at the beginning and, and you know, keep the faith and kind of develop there uh, as you uh, transition to the NFL? I'd say the same, uh, you know, mentality I've had since I've been playing football, which is to work hard um, and, and pray. Uh, those are the only things I, I can control. I work hard every anytime I step on the field, weight room, whatever. Um, you know, I'm not really changing any kind of mentality because that's what got me here. Um, one thing I will change is, is, you know, scenery, of course, and um, playbooks. But aside from that, you know, I'm a smart boy. Um, God gifted me with uh, – specific skill set and I'm going to use it. Let's go next to Nate Taylor with The Athletic. Go ahead, Nate. Uh, similar to what everyone else has said, congratulations. Um, yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. My question for you, Joshua, is how much were the Chiefs uh, part of your conversations with teams in the pre-draft process? Um, how much did you know that they were interested in you? And just what was the moment and feeling like to, to get the call that you're going to join them to start your NFL career? Um, well, I spoke to them for the first, like, serious time, um, I would believe, at the Combine. And, you know, um, they, they were kind of just – it was a it was informal. So, you know, everybody's getting in, getting out. It was a short pace or a short, you know, short span of time we got to speak with each other. And, you know, we ended up getting a top 30 visit. And that's kind of where, you know, a lot of things, a lot of the talks got going. And, you know, they were just getting deep into the film with me. Um, telling me how they feel about me. And, um, you know, th they definitely said they were interested um, and they were going to, you know, try to make a play to get me. And, and they definitely did that. Um, shout out to Coach um, and, you know, them getting what they needed to do, get it done and, and get me in Kansas. And we'll go last to Matt. Oh, sorry, Nate Taylor, I think, had a follow-up. Go ahead, Nate. Yeah, just um, who, who was with you when you got the call? Um, and just, what, again, what did – what did it feel like for you to 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 be drafted um, by the Chiefs? Right. Um, it was small, you know, it didn't do nothing too crazy. Um, just like five, five family members. Um, and, and you know, we're just downstairs. Uh we get the call. I see it was a uh, you know, Missouri number, Kansas City. And um, you know, at that point, and I saw, you know, two picks later it was Kansas City. I kind of uh put the pieces together. Um you know, smiling ear to ear, answer the phone and 
man, that was just so welcoming. Um, and also tell him, you know, just be ready to work, uh, get ready for uh, rookie mini camp, all of that. And, um, you know, I can't wait. You know, that's, that's, you know, the main thing I want to do is play, play football. All of this was great. The pre-draft process was cool. But um, now I can do what, you know, I like to do, which is play football. And we'll go last to Matt Derrick with Chiefs Digest. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Joshua, as everyone else said, congratulations. Welcome to KC. Uh, you had a really strong performance at the Senior Bowl. Um, just how important was that experience for you from both just a getting your name out there and showing the scouts and coaches what you can do and also just testing yourself against some different players that you hadn't been up against before? Right. Um, well, I knew it was going to be a big opportunity to answer a lot of the questions people had about me playing at a D2 uh, school. And, you know, I try not to take it for granted. Um, I, but at the same time, you know, I try to approach every game as, um, you know, I'm going full speed, trying hard. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not going to take any breaks or any shortcuts. So I'm out there just competing. That's what I like to do. I like to compete. I'm a competitive guy. So, um, you know, I was out there giving it my all, having fun, playing football, um, you know, try not to think about it too much because that's, you know, a lot of times when things go wrong. Um, and, and, you know, it all played out pretty well. And, and you know, uh, kind of put me in a position to uh, hire my, my draft stock, at least compared to where it was before that. And, and I'm just blessed, man, blessed to have the opportunity to play there, blessed to be where I am now. It's all just a blessing, truly. Joshua, we're excited to have you, man. Thanks for jumping on with us, and uh, we'll let you go celebrate. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. You guys have an amazing day. Yep.